uh, Dr. Powell. I, I thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and good morning, Mr. Secretary. I have a uh, question about uh, the uh, working uh, President's Working Group on Financial Markets. Uh, there's an article that said that uh, the Fed briefed the President's Working Group on Financial Markets in June of 2008, and during that time, I assume you were President of the New York Fed in June of 08. It was actually in May that we briefed them. Uh, and I was the one who did. Okay, well, the article said June, but okay, May. Um, it said the Fed briefed uh, the working group. Does that mean you did it or somebody else from the Fed? Uh, it was on the agenda of the meeting, and I went to provide. I didn't, I wasn't a member of the group, but I occasionally went. I went to provide an update on this issue, and then my staff subsequently briefed. Uh, officials of the Treasury and separately officials of the SEC and the CFTC. Okay, um, you're the pres you're the chairman of that group right now, correct? Yes, I'm the chairman of the council. Now. Okay, in, in relation to that meeting you had and the meetings you've had since, uh, do you keep uh, detailed minutes of all those meetings? Uh, we do keep minutes of the council meetings today, and we put those minutes in the public direct record. And there. Uh, with uh, whatever the appropriate lag is for to make sure we have you know a review so by the agency. All, all records. How often do those meetings lead to policy changes where you make a decision and the Fed goes out and does something or Treasury goes out something, or uh, getting involved in the markets at all? How often does that happen? Well, the, the council is still in its early stage of implementing the authority Congress gave it. The Congress gave it two different sets of authorities. One is specific responsibility for things like designating financial market utilities that have systemic implications. That's a specific responsibility the FSOC has, which we've acted on. But it gave it a set of broader coordinating responsibilities in service of something many of you have spoken to, which is trying to make sure that you're not leaving large gaps in the system. And the agencies have similar responsibilities are working together, not against each other. Okay. That's a more general responsibility, not a specific one. Not specifics. Um, on, on LIBOR, I don't want to get into the details of fraud and who committed crimes and who should be punished and whatnot. I want to talk about the principle. And the principle here is that uh, people are complaining because uh, they believe LIBOR was fixed, that the interest rates were fixed, uh, and that it benefited somebody financially. And uh, I don't think there's a big argument on that, and that's what all the talk about, and that's why uh, Barclays was actually uh, penalized for it. But isn't this a whole lot like exactly what the Federal Reserve does? Aren't they fixing interest rates all the time for the benefit of special individuals? I mean, if the market goes down, interest rates are lowered, and there's good evidence to show the market uh, usually comes back up. Uh, if, if banks get into trouble, interest rates are lowered. Right now, interest rates are like zero, and banks get a lot of free money, and they, they turn around, and they put it back in the Fed, and they earn interest, and they buy Treasury bills, and they're doing quite well. So it seems like there's a tremendous amount of manipulation of interest rates for the benefit of some individuals. But this manipulation of interest rates uh, harms people who save money. If they're retired and they can't earn anything, it seems like uh, we're, in, in the sense of morality and economic policy, our monetary system is every bit as guilty as what we're accusing LIBOR of doing. Now they may have, uh, we may be, and the Fed may be protected by rules and laws, but isn't there a similarity, isn't there something uh, that we should question about the manipulation of interest rates for the special benefits of some individuals as the Fed does this? Uh, no, I, I would not make any comparison. I, I don't think they're remotely similar. I mean the uh, fed with authority Congress gave it to me. I'm not talking about the authority, I'm talking about what they did. I, I recognize that. But what, what the Fed is doing is with the with responsibility Congress gave it to keep prices low and stable over time and unemployment low over time, it is using a set of tools in the public interest to achieve those objectives. I would say that's a fundamentally different thing from behavior of individual banks to misreport the price they're paying or they might pay to borrow money. Uh, okay, I don't think we'll resolve that because I have one other quick question. Uh, would you support change in policy where the uh, 
uh, Fed could buy treasury debt directly so it didn't go through the bond brokers where they make huge commissions on this, Would, wouldn't this be much better for the American taxpayer? For the Fed to directly finance? Yeah, why can't they buy, why can't they buy treasury bills from the treasury? Instead, we have 20 or so bond dealers and uh, I think they make some commissions on this and then the Fed goes out and buys these bonds and bond dealers make money off this. Uh, well, let me be careful in answering that question. I, let me just tell you that I personally am a strong defender of two very important principles. One is to try to make sure the Fed has full independence on monetary policy, independent of politics, but also to make sure that there's nothing in this relationship between the Fed and the Treasury that would raise concerns that the Federal, the Federal Reserve is directly financing the fiscal deficits of the United States. That would be something very damaging to the Fed's independence, to credibility of monetary policy, and to the fiscal credibility of the United States. I don't think that's what you're implying, of course. I know you wouldn't support that at all. Um, and so maybe I should uh, you know, talk to you more detailed about your specific questions about the market uh, function issue. Thank you. Ms. Maloney. 